Welcome to Audit Archive, where we run you through some of the most questionable and rather atrocious police encounters. Today, we're looking at a case where a racist police officer pulled a vehicle over and harassed the occupants, eventually arresting them for simply holding a phone in their hands. On July 19, 2023, an officer with the Menominee Falls Police Department was out on patrol duty when he observed a vehicle going 49 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. In response, the officer pursued the vehicle with his license siren switched on and followed the car until it pulled into a parking lot. It's worth noting that the driver immediately slowed down after realizing that a patrol vehicle behind him was trying to initiate a traffic stop. Also, another quick piece of information to keep in mind is that the three occupants of the vehicle were actually on a DoorDash delivery. This became apparent very quickly once the officer made contact with them. The first few seconds of this footage are muted as it comes from the dash cam of the patrol vehicle. You roll the windows down for me. What's going on? Why are you trying to dip out on me? Okay. You're door dashing right here? Yeah, I swear to God. Like, this one is going. I can shut it. Yeah, we were That's what I was Can I see the address? You pulled a U turn real fast and pulled in here. When a yeah. cop turns their lights on, you're no, supposed I, to pull I, over right away. Me. All right? Yeah. You shouldn't be pulling to the back of a parking lot when no. someone turns their lights no, on. No, we understand that, but we was coming here anyway. So it was like, instead of holding up traffic and stopping, we just pull right here. Now, the officer has yet to state his reason for the traffic stop and instead accused the driver of trying to flee. He added that the driver was supposed to pull over immediately but the passenger in the back seat claimed that they didn't want to hold up traffic by pulling over there and then. Plus, they had a DoorDash delivery to make at that specific address anyway, so it made sense to pull into the parking lot, which is indeed a safe spot as compared to the road itself. Referring to some general rules and procedures, once the stop is initiated, you should carefully but promptly slow down and signal to the right and pull over in a safe location. Taking too long to pull over can be misconstrued as fleeing or impairment. Pulling over erratically can also be considered a sign of impairment, Judging by this, the driver acted appropriately by pulling over in a safe location. But depending on how far or how long he drove to get there, the officer might be justified in having his guard up, though it's not to be forgotten that the officer has yet to state such a thing. He didn't claim they drove away for too long, but instead stated that they made some quick movements. This was likely why he asked the driver to show him proof of the DoorDash delivery, which was shown and clarified. Next, watch closely as the officer slowly starts fishing for something by asking a ton of questions and trying to trick the passengers into giving up their rights. Okay. You should still stop right away, all right? And you're not getting out of the car right now to deliver that, okay? You got an ID on you? Your Wisconsin license or no? You live in Arkansas? No, I'll, that's where I live. Well, yeah, no, but like, I'm visiting here now. You're visiting right now? Okay. So you don't have a Wisconsin ID? It's old. Okay. I stopped you because you're going 49 and a 30. Just so you know. Okay, you're going 19 over. Alright, is this your vehicle? No. Whose vehicle is this? Your big sister's? Okay. Is this your current address, Little Rock? Do you have an address up here? Nothing? You don't see the address. How long are you staying up here? I was supposed to leave. I got to college. I was supposed to leave by the end of this month. Okay, so you're just here for the summer or something? Yeah. Okay. Be from here, though. Are you two from here? Okay. What's your phone number, man? You guys have IDs on you? Yeah, I do. It's in my book bag. Where is it? My book bag. Where's that? Right here next to me. You can grab it. 
At this point, the officer demanded ID from the driver, which was justified, but also from both passengers, which was certainly not required. In Wisconsin, as the passenger, you are under no suspicion of wrongdoing, and as such do not need to answer any line of questions, provide any identification on request or demand, or provide proof of legal immigration status. The police are not able to arrest you for simply refusing to identify yourself. In other words, the officer was trying to essentially coerce the passengers into revealing their identities, something which they didn't need to do. But luckily, the driver had his elder sister on the phone, who was well aware of the constitutional rights given to the members of the public. She was quick to step in and prevented the officer from abusing his authority. Oh, you got ID, man? Yeah, hey, she said, well, you need an ID if it's a drunk stuff. I'm just asking. He just asked. He was just asking. So you, so you don't need to see it? Alright, so you don't need to see I'm asking for it. You asking for it? Yes. But I, I don't have to show it? As the passenger, you don't have to give it to me, but I'm asking for it. That's cool. Okay. Do you have anything here you shouldn't have? No, sir. Okay. Because it smells like marijuana. Yeah. You don't have any? Because it smells like it. You sure don't want to tell me right now? We don't. It's an ashtray, but I don't think it's going to smell Okay. Let me see. It's like nothing like music. Okay. Three. That's probably what it is. Is your sister's car? Yeah. Okay. You know if anyone smoked in it recently? Is that sister on the phone? Okay. Tell her it smells like weed in here. You guys are driving it. As outrageous as it sounds, what we've just seen is an ego-driven police officer failing to violate the occupant's rights and then switching plans to still try and abuse his authority after already failing one time. The officer, right after being told that the passengers wouldn't provide ID, came up with a good old odor of marijuana accusation. He quite immediately brought it up, almost as if it was already a backup plan he had in his arsenal. Unfortunately for the occupants of the vehicle, the Supreme Court has stated that car smelling like marijuana is enough for police in Wisconsin to justify searching a person in the vehicle, even though substances legal in the state can smell the same. Plus, in the 1999 case of State v. Secrist, a Wisconsin judge concluded that the odor of a controlled substance provides probable cause to arrest when the odor is unmistakable and may be linked to a specific person or persons because of the circumstances in which the odor is discovered or because other evidence links the odor to the person or persons. What's missing from both these sources is the fact that an officer could quite easily assume that he or she smelled an odor of marijuana and still proceeded to arrest the suspect without actually smelling anything. We can't be certain whether such was the case here, but that didn't matter since the officer exposed his tyranny himself, as you will now see. Okay. Alright, why don't you step out for me? Yep. Why don't all three of you come out? You want to search the car? Leave the phone in there, sir. Step out, leave the phone. Keep your hand out of your pockets. Hey! What's his name? TJ, listen. He said leave TJ. the phone. TJ, why you got my phone? Why leave the phone in there. Why can't he have his phone? Leave the phone in there. Why can't he have his phone? Because I'm telling you, you can't I'm right now. Is that a law? We're investigating something. Okay? Is that a law? Put your phone in there right now. Put your phone in there. Put your phone in there. Because I'm going to search the car for marijuana. Okay. We're investigating something. You're not allowed on the phone. TJ, TJ, put it in there. I'm not going to ask you again. Please, it's a lawful order. So it's a lawful order that we can't have Put it in there. That's just how I'm done. Put it in there. Put your phone in there. I don't care, my nigga. Get a phone. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to ask you face on. Money up. Turn around. Turn around. Stop. Stop resisting right now. Stop resisting. Stop resisting right now. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Look, I'm gonna tase you. I will tase you if you don't stop. Right, quick, but not recent one. Hey, grab my phone, bro. Come on, 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 come the officer first ordered just the driver out and then promptly gave the same command to the passengers, adding that he would be searching the vehicle. As discussed earlier, officers can rely on their senses to establish probable cause, 
Therefore, if an officer smells marijuana coming from a vehicle, he or she may search the car without a warrant. But problems arise when officers claim to smell marijuana when they, in reality, do not. This is unlawful police procedure, and any evidence obtained in this manner should be suppressed and cannot be held against you. But that's not the main issue anymore. We've just seen the officer order one of the passengers to leave his mobile phone, which is his personal property, inside the car before stepping out. In other words, he was seizing his personal property, and this was a violation of his Fourth Amendment right, which keeps people secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures. What's worse is that since backup had arrived, the officer was more comfortable violating the passenger's rights, so they all teamed up to physically restrain him, snatch his phone from him, and then place him in handcuffs. Like, sis, hey, can we record? Ain't that our right to record? Hey, ain't that our right to record? As mentioned by this educated man, he did indeed have the right to record the officers, and what's ironic is that the officer had ordered him to leave his mobile phone in the car, which would by extension prevent him from recording in the first place. It stated that, persons who are lawfully in public spaces or locations where they have a legal right to be present, such as their home, place of business, or the common areas of public and private facilities and buildings, have a First Amendment right to record things in plain sight or hearing, to include police activity. Police members may not threaten, intimidate, or otherwise discourage or interfere with the recording of police activities. Regardless of this, the passenger was essentially attacked, assaulted, stripped of his rights, and now placed under arrest for obstruction of justice, all because he held his phone in his hand. Step in front of the car. Step in front of the car. Stay right here. Stay right here. Okay. okay. Wait, I'm not moving. Stop I'm resisting. All right. Don't you are. I'm telling you to face the car. Don't move and face the car. Don't move. Don't move. Face the car. You have anything on you that's going to poke me? No. You're under arrest for obstruction. Just so you know. okay. Bro, what? Obstruction. Right? Obstruction. Hey, hey. hey. Are we good? Hey, 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 listen, listen to me. No, no, can I just explain to you guys? We got, we got the body cams going, okay? Okay. What do you think I got to do with him not being able to have his phone? He can have his phone, right? As part of the investigation. That's a question. He can have his phone, right? Not while we're doing an investigation. That's it. It's not an investigation. Y'all put us over some traffic stop. I didn't put it over. We are turning to an investigation. I'm going to send you a location right now. We are turning to an investigation. That's perfect. That's perfect. Is this yours? It's not his phone. The police officer just tried to take his phone for no reason. That's, that's not a law, that's not, they, they, it was a traffic stop, now they're talking about an investigation. Exactly. The car reeks of weed. He said, the person, the, the person who didn't pull us over said the car reeks of weed. Well, 513, looks like everybody's 23. I don't, we, we, in Monopoly yeah. Falls, now they having another police officer come. And it's another four. one. It's four. It's four that's cool. Hey, everybody, wait, cool. Wait, what are you doing? Where are you going? Hey, hold wait, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What y'all doing? Hold on. What y'all doing? Hold on. Why are you arresting him? Oh, I just got here. Okay. He's under arrest. I heard obstructing. Okay. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, I stopped my traffic stop. So just wait a minute. Okay, okay look, it's your traffic stop. So can I talk to you? Come here. Come here. Here. We don't got to talk to nobody else. Come here. Why is he getting arrested? Why is there so many people here? It's just three of us. What's going on? We, here. we don't got to talk to none of them. Okay. We're talking to him. Who pulled us out? I'm Tina. Put this down for a minute. Hold on. Talk to you. Look. We don't got to put it down. Wait, no, wait, but put it down. We don't got to put it down. Look. Wait, just let him talk. Now, why is he being arrested? Do you want me to explain to you what's going on? Put your phone down. I'm not talking to him. I'm not talking to you. I don't have to put my phone down. I'm talking to you. down. I'm talking to you, I'm not talking to you. You really want to do you this? You just sit it up. I'm you talking to the same thing. Bro, bro, I don't give a fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't waste my time. It's not a law that I have to put my phone down. You're talking to me, you start talking to me. You're not arresting me, you're not doing. Let me see. Tina, I'm going to sit the phone down. Take him to the side and hang on a little bit. Whoa, come with me. I will talk to you. Be good. Come with me. Just, just talk to you. Okay, talk to me. Who's on the phone with you? I don't have to tell you that. Why are you being like this? Because it's my right. You're making this. More you think you're better than me because you're a police officer? No. You came over here and you arrested him for having his phone. No, you see how dumb that's that? Why? 
Why? Why is it? Why? Why is he in the back of your car? Called you guys over. Why is he in the back of your car? That's do, what do I'm asking. Do you want me to explain or no? Answer my question. You're just talking over. Answer me. my question. I'm trying to Answer talk to you. Answer my question. I pulled you guys over. Answer my question. Really? Yes. Okay. I'm not talking about this. Now he don't want to talk. Now he don't want to talk. He don't. He don't want to say why the fuck. Stay here. Exactly. Exactly. That shit. They. They think they're dealing with somebody who's stupid. Stay over here. Okay. You, who put us over? What you doing? He's talking to the boss. He'll be over in a minute. He he talking to the boss. He'll be over here in a second. Uh, somebody else. Why do you want you out of here? Hey, Jay, why are you talking to him? He didn't pull you over. Hey, Jay, come grab the phone. Uh, come grab the phone. Uh, you good? You can come grab the phone. He can. He can. This boat. They don't want me to move. This boat. Why are you touching? He can grab the phone. Excuse me. Why he can't? He can't talk on the phone. Here, come grab it. You can, bro, you can no, grab it. So She's right here. You don't have to pass it. You don't have to Following this, officers searched the vehicle and found a very small amount of marijuana somewhere inside. One of the passengers immediately claimed it to be his and was promptly placed under arrest. But let's not forget that this entire ordeal was already unlawful at this point, which could mean that any evidence beyond that point may be inadmissible in court. Other than that, the driver, who was technically still completely innocent, was tackled to the ground with one of the officer's knees on his neck. Uh, this, this you, know this you know it's mine. You know it's mine. It's my bag. You know it's mine. This wasn't in the bag. It's cool though. It's mine. You're claiming this? Yeah. No, I'm saying it's mine. Huh? Exactly. It's who? That's how dumb you sound. What is dumb ass? He looking at me dumb as hell. Is this yours? Yes. How many times I gotta tell you, bro? Okay. You stand up for me? It could have been hers. No, wait, that's a bad car. Go, go, go. Stand in front of the car. I mean, not if you. Hold on, they're going to fall down. You know, shut it down. I'm going to get a chance. Come grab my stuff. Here, bro. He grabbed Here. Hey, AJ! Hey, bro, grab my phone! AJ! AJ, just shut the up and grab my phone! I'm gonna grab it! Stay right there! You don't have to say shit! Just pick the stuff up on the grass. Bro, don't touch my phone! AJ! Bro! Hey, what the f wrong with y'all? All right, let's keep everybody's stuff straight. That's his. That, them his keys. That's mine. You got my bag on you? Your bag, your bag. You gonna grab it? Sure. Stop. You got the other side, yeah. Hey, get your knee off him. Just Bro, relax. Hey, hey, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Hey! Hey! Who was you yelling at? Bro, false. 218 or 1080 with you. Yeah, that's fine. Bro, hey! Don't put him in my car. You can buck on me yet? Safety first. We never got his name. Can you please uh, unbuckle, the seat unbuckle the seatbelt? Unbuckle the seatbelt. Dude, unbuckle the seatbelt. It has to stay buckled, man. It feel weird. Yeah, bro, I can stand up on my own. Let go. Bro, you just said stand up. Why is y'all on me like this? Can y'all explain why y'all on me like this? Like, I'm not even doing this. I haven't did nothing this whole time. Make sure you have control that. Here we go with this shit, bro. I haven't even did this this whole time, bro. I can stand up. Like, why is y'all grabbing me? I didn't do nothing this whole time. Huh? I know. Walk over here for me, okay? Oh, my gosh, bro. I still put on my soul. Yeah. I didn't do nothing this whole time. Right here, right here, right here. Separate your feet. Down on the fucking dirt. I'm surprised I don't feel everything in. 
Excuse me. Why you have me on the ground like that? Why, why you have me on the ground? Like, ain't you that boss? Well, what did I do? Take a seat. What did I do? Take a seat. But like, how? 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 How am I expressing when I've been standing there the whole time? Oh my God. Ultimately, all three men were placed under arrest. The driver was in for obstructing an investigation. The passenger who had his phone snatched was in for obstruction of justice. And the last passenger was in for possession of marijuana. Be sure to check out our previous video where we cover another outrageous police encounter.